Midnight on Independence Day 2011 in Juba, the capital of South Sudan. People taking to the streets to celebrate the declaration of the world's newest nation after decades of violent struggle for independence. However, the euphoria of that moment was short-lived as the country's leaders went to war with each other just two years later. Today, a third of South Sudan's 12 million people have fled their homes and almost 2 million live on the brink of famine. Even without war, the obstacles the country has faced since independence are immense having inherited just 200 kilometres of tarmac road in a country the size of France. Not surprising, therefore, that the mood across the country on Independence Weekend is not one of celebration, with the government cancelling official ceremonies for the second year in a row, as people continue to suffer the full force of the man-made catastrophe of civil war. The euphoria around gaining sovereignty that the South Sudanese fought for so long for uh, is not translated into the responsibility that comes with sovereignty, the, the responsibility to live in, for people to live in peace, to have health care, to have education so their, their kids have got a chance to grow up and look forward to the future. Uh, but many countries have been through similar situations and have come out the other side and it's my profound hope and wish for South Sudan that they will be able to move through this and have the kind of country that they deserve and they really want and hope for. With the easy availability of weapons across the country, a simple disagreement between groups can lead to the deaths of dozens of civilians in a single incident. Peacekeepers serving with the United Nations mission in South Sudan are working to protect those civilians from such violence with a new proactive, nimble and robust approach focused not only on those in protection of civilian sites but also far-flung communities through long-distance patrols. UNMIS is also working to build peace by bringing together groups at a grassroots and national level in the hope that the 2015 peace agreement can be fully implemented. There is only a political settlement here. It cannot be done through military means. It can be not be done through fighting and killing people. It has to be done around a table. While the mood across South Sudan is not celebratory this Independence Weekend, hope remains that, in time, its people will feel the same pride in being citizens of a country that protects their rights and lives as many other countries around the world enjoy.